Well, Tanzania came out fighting this one with all the energy and determination of a team that knew that a win would give them a chance at their first qualification for the Africa Cup of Nations in more than 30 years. And that energy and determination translated into attacking play. They countered, they pressed, and they asked difficult questions of Nigeria. Samata in the first half, forcing two excellent saves. And then in the second half, they had three attempts in five minutes, all of which really should have been goals. And that was the problem, really. They weren't clinical enough in front of goal. Fortunately for Taifa Stars, neither were Nigeria, and despite their best efforts, the game ended nil-nil. I praised for Nigeria for their good performance. The performance that they showed us that we can play football, because, you know, Tanzania is not, is not known in Africa that they are. But today I think people will hear that uh, Tanzania is now is just the same as Nigerians. But this is football. We, have, we appreciate the results, and uh, I congratulate my, my boys. They played very well. According to the instructions, they showed determination from the beginning of the game. But missing chances, it's part and parcel of the football. They gave up a good fight. We, we, we knew already it was going to be difficult because they were, I think, a month away training together and uh, two weeks, I don't know what that month was. So uh, my boys did well. They tried very well. But we can see that um, for us, our building process continues. The Nigeria manager said he hopes to build on this and said the team had only been training for a matter of days together. Uh, as for Tanzania, they hadn't won in about a year, but they'll take something from this point and hope to build on the attacking play that they showed today. And they'll continue their Africa Cup of Nations qualification campaign. Dan Ashby, CCTV in Tanzania.